Hi guys and welcome back to episode 15 of the Rave series. In the previous episodes, last like one and two, three episodes, we have been smacked around. I feel like it was karma for what happened in like episodes nine and 10. And now it's just like the, the, the forces are just realigning. Uh, we also had a couple of uh, microphone issues and I think I found out the problem uh, and hopefully I'll fix it. If not, oh, hope you enjoy laptop microphone audio. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So talking about that audio issue, what actually was happening is uh, Tarko apparently can just disable your microphone while you're loading in for some reason. Um, and it's happening to other people, they fix apparently, or one of the fixes is to disable any other microphone inputs on your computer. So I've tried that, let's hope that works. But as we get into this episode, first things first, let's get our dailies. Uh, hand over a splint and an anal gym painkiller. Uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward and it gives us a little bit of rep there, which we need to work on. Uh, we, we do have kill scabs on customs, which is like a side quest, but because uh, there's no follow-on quest to Operation Aquarius. Sanitary standards, this gas analyzer, I think we could, we could work on doing that. And then survive two factories. Now, this doesn't give any rep. So I'm actually kind of tempted to just skip this one. And uh, we still have checking to do. Yeah, okay, let's skip this one. Let's skip this one and see what we can get instead for 4K. Uh, Daily for a scav, not going to do this one. Uh, eliminate PMCs from a distance of over 40 meters, not going to happen. We need to survive shoreline there. Hand over seven dog tags for bear. Also, probably not going to get this one done. Uh, prepper, hand over two bandages. Found in raid. Let's just get that one done. All right. And then over here. This one's a rough one because 10 double barrel scav kills could be fun, but it's also like completely useless killing anything else. I just want to skip this one and hope that we can get something a little bit better. Okay, eliminate Rashala using assault rifle or marksman. That's a hard one. Uh, maybe we'll take an AR into customs and maybe we bump into him in dorms, I guess. We've got to go get the, uh, the, the machinery key. All right, so really the main thing I'd love to get done in this ta in this episode is try and get that signal task done because like we can also get fishing gear done at the same time. I'm going to have one go at this again. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to have a break from going to shoreline because it seems to be that we just go into shoreline and we die over and over and over again and then I get sadder and sadder and then we all want to go home and cry. So uh, we'll try and do the machinery key. Sorry, we'll try and do the, uh, the signal task um and we'll work it out from there we also want to get those t-shaped plugs if possible uh, and our weekly window we're not going to get done so when it comes to insurances we have a few uh we could use some of this on shoreline oh, actually we've got a loadout all ready to go uh, so let's use that loadout for now how full is this we've got a bit of space All right, make sure we've got the right ammo. Cool, I'm happy with that. Uh, don't need those keys for shoreline. Means we could probably take that instead and we just need a splint. A splint. All right, heavy bleed mad. All right, we have the splint there for the, the daily. Let's see if we can just get the anal gin. Let's do it. Let's get into shoreline and hope we have some big success. All right, so the microphone just disabled again. So I decided enough is enough. A message indicator. So I just sent him a message saying, dude, there's a bug that makes it <laughs> your microphone disconnect every time you let into raid. Not every time, but most times. It's, it's happening a lot, a lot. So 
time. Just feeling a little bit far back from the from the monitor. There we go. What a beautiful day on the shoreline. Oh, now you can see the monitor on the camera. There we go. I'll just have to lean. Get a little lean forward. I'm pretty much just going to try and run all the way up to the top of the west wing and then get away from it. There's a way into the compound from the corner. I'm going to try and do that one and then go up the actual external like fire staircase on the roof. Pretty sure we had the closest spawn on this side. So our, our major threats are coming from our right. I hit him then. It's probably not a good thing that I missed. Oh, he's dead. I just didn't want him taking shots at me when I was running this way. Sorry, that's where most people will come in and they'll go into the west wing there. We're going to go up the external fire escape there. And up we go. No shots whatsoever. 7.30 p.m. Prime time. Thursday. Three weeks since the wipe. All right, so there are a pretty good chance someone would come up from the low ground in front of us. I'm really hoping. This is so quiet. This is eerie quiet. It's made me really worried. How beautiful and picturesque does this all look? trying to listen for anyone there's no way we're the only people in here this is like middle of the prime time i think it's literally like 7 38 o'clock on the australian servers on the worst map known to man
Ja. Should we just run for it? We need to go like over there. I kind of like the idea of cutting across here, so I'm not going across the open field. Can't see anyone to our left right now. I don't. I'm gonna run into them in the low ground here. So I'm just like head on a swivel, just like I'm, I'm sorry I'm not really talking too much. My head's on a swivel just trying to make sure I see someone before they see me. So constantly looking left and right. Still always moving in the direction we need to go. Our extract's just over there, so we're going to come up here. Listening out to see if anyone's inside the building. See anyone at the windows? Whew. Right. Hopefully, I can just get across this field. I am doing the, the fastest path possible. It's not the stealthiest path possible. Like, probably would have been better going down this hillside there and going around. But I think sometimes it's better to be in view for a less period of time than covering more distance and having more opportunity for someone to run past you. So, if we went the other way, it, it is slightly longer, but you have more cover. But also you are running closer to hidden stashes. So people could be running hidden stashes. So you might run into one of those people. It's all a bit of RNG really. More time in raid means more chance of, you know, being seen. More scams might spawn in. Like there's heaps of things. So sometimes, like when I'm speed running, it's always the fastest path. When I'm when I'm playing on my main account, I'm just trying to get my quest done. It's always the fastest path. It's not always the most tactical, and not always the most like high chances of survival. But that's the reason I think, for this path. But yeah, in all seriousness, could have gone down that hill, walked along the tree line over there, and then walked up here. You could have even crossed the water and walked along the uh, across the road and walked along the road uh, the water's edge all the way up, completely covered and not seen by anyone ever. All right, there's a scab here. I'm literally going to go straight into the corner and go prone. <sighs> wow. A lot of running. Killed one scav. So, um, yeah. We got out. Path thing was we spawned in uh, near the path of lighthouse. We literally ran almost in a straight line across to uh, West Wing, got on the roof, went to the signal part one spot, and then uh, went down back around the edge of the map, cut across to the radar tower and then out to the extra. Trying to avoid all main pathing of where people would be entering in. The only place that was probably high chance of someone that was going to be was when we came down back past the admin building and down to the low ground. Sometimes people will come up that way. So if 
an, uh, an idea, guys, if you spawn into Lighthouse, uh, sorry, into Shoreline, and you want to go to the resort, but you're not got it, you don't have a good spawn, go around the back and come in through the admin side. People will charge into the west wing and east wing directly, and then they'll, they'll be attacking through from both sides. Uh, if you come in from the admin side, you've got heaps of cover, you can run back into if you need to, but you can also stand in the middle and go, okay, there's one team in the right wing, there's one team in the left wing, and then like, or there's like one person shooting or was shooting in the right wing. And you can kind of like figure out how you want to approach it. Instead of you coming from one side, they're going to hear you uh, and you got nowhere to go. Because if you come in from the west wing and you're going through that hole in the building, it is so easy to kill someone. Because if you come in from the ground floor, you've got like a small doorway you've got to enter from. And if you want to run around the outside of the building to come in from the side doors, then you're exposed outside for ages. So. And it's the same with the East Wing. East Wing's probably even worse, so. All right, two quests done, which is great. Um, I'm actually really happy now we can do Tiger Safari whilst we're also on customs. Uh, signal part one's done. And for signal part two, it's just hand handing over stuff. So we need one more CPU. We need uh, two more G phones and three C PCBs. So with the PCBs, we should be able to craft them now. So that's this one here, we can just... Hmm. We already have the screwdriver, so let's just buy one of these. Now, if we are not gonna be around in 48 minutes, which I don't think I will be back on the on the subathon, you can just turn off your, your generator here and it'll be done in 11 hours. So you don't lose your fuel. Now, I honestly, you wanna know all the tips and tricks of this game, if you're gonna play a lot, if you're gonna play more than just an hour a day, five days a week, you should have your fuel on 24 seven and you should have your air filter running 24 seven to, to level up your hotout management skill. And obviously you should try and, uh, when you do have it done, uh, your water water collector level three, you have that going as much as you can as well. It levels up your hotout management skill. The way the hotout management skill works is, there's two ways of leveling it. One is doing upgrades in your hideout. It gets a big boost, that's why you get up really quickly to like level seven or eight. Then the other one is from using fuels or waters, right? So having your generator running 24 seven, having your fuel, your air filter running 24 seven and uh, your water filter going 24 seven. It increases all bonuses within the hideout. And the main bonuses that I think personally are really great are from the library, you get more experience points and also more uh, practical skill learning, which is uh, these ones here. And um, your air filter, which gives you more physical skill learnings, which is these ones here. So it, bo it bonuses from the, that is like 40%, but you get an extra up to 22.5%, I think, from the hideout management skill or something. Or it might even be more. Where is it? Uh, it might actually be 50% bonus. So you'll get 60% bonus in skill leveling. So in my opinion, it's worth doing, uh, having the fuels on 24 seven, if you're gonna be playing all the time. If you're just doing, like I said, the five days a week, maybe not worth it as much. All right, now that we got that done, we can go into customs and we can try and brute force our way through this task. So our tasks on customs are as follows. We need to get the machinery key uh, for checking and get the bronze pocket watch out. We need to go uh, mark the three tigers for our peacekeeper. And if we get some scav kills for operation Aquarius, it's a bonus. I'm gonna leave this behind. Uh, well, 214, 204, gas station office, 510, 14, directors. I think we've got everything we really need. That's the big ones. Uh, I might put that there and then put this down here. Let's get our rewards for now. All right, let's go. So the microphone happened again. I'm just looking at all the other fixes that people have. Let's set it to default and see if that makes any difference. This is really like <laughs> annoying. All right, um, hidden stash. Machinery key, tigers. We've got some work to do in this episode, or in this rain. There's an armor there. This class three. 
Oh, an Aino Gin. This is class 4, so... We'll move over to class 4 armor. At least I know it won't be a problem when we, uh... Finish this tubathon, because I can... I'll be recording back on my computer, but... We do need to get a fix. The terrifying thing is... Um, I just googled microphone disabling on load-in. And <laughs> there's posts from like 2022. <laughs> So it's not like this is the first time it's happened. This has been happening for apparently a while. Man, I love this game so much, but it's just... If they've fixed it and broken it again, that is so textbook Tarkov. All right, so we spawned in the old gas. Um, I'm going to take a, the long path to do this one. I'm, I'm, I'm actually heading towards Tiger Safari's... Uh, like Humvees, so we can mark them. Um, See. So there's a Humvee like here and another one down there. Shoot, the Humvee's on the left, I think. There. I'm going to run over, mark it, run back in. I didn't bring the markers. No! No! Which one of you guys noticed? Which one of you guys said he didn't bring in the markers? Bet you he forgets. Hmm? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? Now it became a different raid. Alright. A lot of running then, and that was mostly because I didn't want to get stuck out in the open. Alright, that shot's in stronghold. Water filters. Selling for a bit on the fleet at the moment. Use for a gunsmith. Lots of gunfire. Whew. Some vast. I've actually increased the amount of loot in this room. What is this? A banshee rig. Class 4 rig. See if we can hold on to it. All right. Operation get two dorms and get the machinery key. Now that ambulance on the left there as I ran past, that has the Emicom key spawn. Right. Carrying the extra weight. I just don't want to be caught out trying to jump in an ambulance or not. You have to do a jump crouch. It's not too difficult, but... 
Good for you to just know that this key spawns there. Save yourself a couple hundred thousand rubles if it spawns. Right. Do we full loot dorms? Or do we just go for our key? That's behind us. Wanna run past these windows and catch someone's in there? Machinery key. Might as well loot this while we're here. My game just looks really dark. What have I done to this monitor? This is a safe room. One more flash drive. No, machinery key for is the focus. All right, cut across here. I think that's a man. Trying to save up a full thing of stamina. Player running left or right down the end of the road. I'm just going to try and keep moving here. I'm going to stop to loot. I don't know where everyone is, but I just want to get the rule app right now. Shooting at me? There's three of them. If I die here, I'll be so upset.
I didn't have to kill them, but I just didn't want them like ruining my day. And we have to get scav kills for Operation Aquarius Part 2. Checking is done. Whew. That's hard. <laughs> Finally, checking is done. So, I spawned in. Uh, I went to go mark the Humvees for Tiger Safari. And uh, they weren't there. I didn't have to, sorry, I didn't have the markers. So, uh, wasted the time, I guess. And then we headed up through the gas station up to the dorms. Got the machinery key. Went over, got checking, and got out. Very lucky that we didn't run into any players this time. Very lucky. Um, I am playing at prime time. So, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just get a bit of a smooth sailing. There were people shooting around everywhere in that. But uh, just... The idea that this is how you'll get better at surviving in Tarkov is when you're moving around, when you hear a gunshot, just mentally go, that person probably, like this is early on in the raid, that person probably spawned here and they're heading towards here. So like, all right, this person spawned on uh, custom side, as in because the, the side with all like, the, ship, the, the storage containers, that's customs. Uh, they spawn on custom side. The shots were near crack house, so they're probably going to go crack house, stronghold, old gas, right? Um, and so try and keep that in your mind. If if you get better at doing that, you'll eventually learn better ways to survive. Like, okay, well, if that person's going to be going through stronghold and crack house, you know, I'll probably won't go there for a while. Like, I need at least five ten minutes before that person's going to get through those two spots. So if I don't want to have any any people to fight, I need to avoid those places for the first five or 10 minutes from that person specifically. And then that's when you start hearing when there's lots of gun battles, you'll hear it. Uh, and, and there's some guns that sound have a, have a very specific sound to them. If you hear that specific sound, you'll actually know where that person is moving through the map. Um, you know, like M700s. You, someone shoots an M700 uh, bolt action rifle, you know that sound quite easily. And uh, you go, okay, that's that guy with the M700 moving through. Some people are really good at doing it. It's just a, it's like a situational awareness kind of thing. Obviously you've got to do everything else on top. Like, oh, where do I have to go for my quest? What do I have to pick up? What's the best loot? That, that's what makes Tarkov such a complex in-depth game. And uh, I think it's it's part of the beauty of Tarkov is trying to keep on top of all that. But that's how you'll find the players that are, are better at the game will, will play. They'll be constantly thinking about where everyone is that they hear and how they can uh, either run around and kill them or have success from it. Right, that is our second line too. All right, we need to. I want to sell that. Do I have any more? I do. I'm gonna sell them. Use that later on. Need that for quests, apparently. These will go up in value. All right. Um, what was I going to do? My quest. A bit more rep for therapist, which is handy. Uh, we still need two more kills for that. Right, delivery from the past is a really painful quest. Where is our survive and extract task? We don't have one. Cool. So we don't really need to go back to customs. So what I'm thinking here is just getting all the uh, quest rewards. What I'm thinking here is we go to streets. We try and get as much of the uh, Quest items as we can, like T-plugs and stuff like that. Gas analyzers. Or actually, or we could go interchange. I'm actually quite happy to go interchange. Because we have a quest now to uh, kill scabs on interchange. So maybe we do that. How are we going for time? Yeah, we can do an interchange run. This is not good ammo. This is horrible ammo. We're going to die. <laughs> Uh, if we run into a geared player, we, we will not be able to kill them. But part of the fun, I guess. All right, so. Um, I 
Yeah, I want to get, before we get delivering the pass done, I want to get farming done. So we could get you to change, get the task, uh, make ultra grade again. We need to kill 25 scabs on interchange. So as we're running around, we'll try and do this. And we could do audit a bit later on. But yeah, so let's go do that. Might need to pick up a shotgun or something, just in case we run into a player. All right, interchange. Let's go. All right, another fix for this microphone was to uh, not alt tab, and uh, that didn't work either. So I don't know. All right, one thing we should have done as we were loading into this raid though was to make sure we had um, uh, some cash for the extract, but we didn't bring it, so. All right, so this is Friday's episode, which means it's the last episode of the week. I hope you guys are going to have a great weekend. Say hi to your, your mums for me, it's all your partners, your husbands, your wives, boyfriends, your girlfriends, whoever's important. Say hi to your best friend for me. Um, but yeah, uh, it is also now September. So we've moved into our second phase of our subathon on our live stream. Okay, so by the way, I spawned down the back, it's right in the middle. We're gonna have railway extract, and we're gonna, I just went in underneath it and up that back hidden stair section. Scav over here. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be, uh, our subathon is going for another month, if it keeps going. If you want to get involved, should definitely come over to the live stream. We've got a lot of shenanigans happening over the next month. Should be a lot of fun. My aimbot didn't work then. Giving away computers every second day and... Got a really fun thing planned for Wednesday. Oh, I should have picked up that shotgun. I'm gonna try and move pretty quick. That way if we have to run, we can. Yeah, got a uh, pretty big event planned for Wednesday. Secret surprise for Daddy Toast and Michael. And um, I also have... Kappa Speed Run. Swag Assault's coming over for, a, for an event. If you know who Swag Assault is. Well, there's a T-plug. Hello! Please don't shoot me! Hello? I actually think I just heard someone. Guess I know what I need. Did I just hear someone? Oh, we need to go to top brand. I'm moving pretty quick because I want to get away from this side of the mall. I always feel like that's the more ferocious side. We could go no backpack extract at this rate. Gonna run across the front. Let's keep getting those scams when we can.
Just listening for players. So the first shots I heard, just to go back over that thing we were talking about at the end of the last raid, the first shot I heard was out near Imacom, which is the people that would be heading in through Ollie. Which means they're going to be extracting a railway site as well. Haven't heard any other, sh any other shots down the other at uh, Ollie's side. Trend. All right, they're in the middle of the mall. I'm going to try and just run past the mall. I'm going to be a little bit cheeky here. All right, I'm going to run there over here. About here, stop for a second. So, all these items put in here, just like this. All right, now, if you need food items, the left hand side of Goshen is stacked with food. So, if you're struggling with like all the food from this, the first Jaeger quest. Everything besides Iskra is spawned there in bulk. Look at your Amelia's and all that. You'll get all them. So all we need to do now is survive. Toss the backpack there. Have a quick look, make sure no one's walking down the road. Make sure no one's camping the extract. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do big sale. We got very lucky with our spawn. We did all that in just on seven minutes. Seven and a half minutes. And we killed probably five scavs at the same time. Yep. Call that a big dub. That's a big dub right there. Oh man, that was actually really sweet. Five scavs, and then we also got um, big sale done. And we got a gas analyzer and a T plug. So we need one more T plug. I'm just just happy. <laughs> How do we go from, like I'm filming it literally the exact same time as yesterday. How do we go from getting smacked every single raid to just happy days? I did get some good player avoidance at times though. I really should, I really should uh, explain better why I'm going certain di directions to you guys. So that way you can understand what's going on a bit more. I try, I try my best. I try my best, but I really should try and do a bit more. All right, sanitary stands part two. So two gas analyzers for that one. We've got a couple more scabs there. Uh, and this is how we get us our rep up. Uh, still need a flash drive. Tiger Safari forgot to bring the things in. One more T-plug. And then, oh, we've got like heaps of signal. Circuit boards are being made. We need broken G phones and CPU fans. Uh, CPU, sorry. Kill more scavs. Audits done on streets. Wound a beast when you get shot. Pretty happy with all that. Um, probably sell that. Cool. 
So the only thing I'm worried about right here, we could just do a quick sell it, just a couple of things, is I'm worried that we'll run into um, our insurance is disappearing if we don't actually If we don't actually uh, claim them, so I just need to clean up a little bit. That's cheap. Just buy that from a vendor for more. A little bit of a purge. We're going to need them for a bit, a bit later on. Put that down here. Kind of need a mag case, don't we? Were we crafting one? I feel like we were. Maybe I made a mistake. Hmm. Maybe we should craft one. Jeez, that's getting expensive. Three of these. Two of these. You don't need to have your fuel on for these either. For our lavatory. All right. Um, that will sort out any our mag issues. So keep them. All right, proper. We've got three days, but it'd still be better if we got it in here. Right. Um, guns down here. That can just be vended. That goes in here. Bit of quick tidy up. It's funny how we were poor the other, just the other day and now we're like, well, we don't have room for all our stuff. This is Tarkov. This is Tarkov for you. Exactly Tarkov. All right, I just want to sell that top bit. We can put these up on the flea, I think. Pistol. That should make it so we can fit the last backpack in. Done. All right. Here we go. A very successful episode and a good way to finish the week. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We uh, got a couple of quests done and we had a little bit of success with the finish up, which makes me happy because we were really getting bogged down for the last couple of episodes with just death after death after death. So we were able to avoid some players and got some uh, some kills. So but yeah, I'm gonna. Have to, I've already messaged Nikita. He's looking into the uh, into the microphone issue. We uh, hopefully get that fixed because it's actually really annoying. It happened to every single raid that I loaded into today. It, the microphone died. So lucky I noticed. Um, much love. Thanks for all the the, uh, the support. You guys are amazing as always. And uh, keep the likes and comments happening. Let us know if we can improve in any way. We'll always try and make sure we improve the episodes as we go. Um, yes, said we're doing the subathon right now. By the time this episode goes live, we'll be in September. So it's September. So there's discounts on subs in on Twitch, and uh, you'll be seeing me, Michael, and uh, Daddy Toast over on my live stream, Twitch.tv forward slash Pestily where uh, we're doing events every week for the whole of September. Every Wednesday, I've got a special thing planned. And then every uh, every other week, I've got like, or once a week, I've got other, something else. Hot tub stream with Swagger Souls. We've got the Cap Speed Run. I'm going to try and get Kiki over for confessions. A lot of fun stuff. Anyway, that's it for today and uh, this week. And I'll see you guys on Monday, all right? Bye-bye.